next perk gone bad and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an awesome uh, YouTube background. And what I mean by an awesome YouTube background is something that looks like this. The background um, is black or you could change the background to any color you want. And also if you change the box colors, if, you're, if you change your box colors to the background color, then it gives it a really great effect. Also, uh, over here on the corners or on the sides, the left and the right side, you can change it to whatever color you want and make it say whatever you want. And up here in the headline or header, you could change it to whatever color you want and make it say whatever you want. So, um, uh, first off, to uh, do this, you have to go to the link in the video description. And this link's going to take you to your template of the template that you're going to use to make your YouTube background. So right click it and save your image as to your background. Okay, and then after you're done doing that, just open it up with either fireworks or Photoshop. This works with both, but it works better with fireworks. So that's what I'm gonna be using. After you open it up, it should look something like this. So what, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a background for it. Um, choose the rectangle tool and choose whatever color you want. And just highlight the whole picture with it. And it should look something like this. Then go ahead and mess around with all its properties, the gradients, the patterns, whatever. I'm going to make it go to Starburst. Make the gradient to Starburst. And then after, like, let's say I want this background. I want it to look like this. After you're done, just click on the layer, that the background layer, and drag it all the way to the bottom. And that will make this rectangle pop up and you want this rectangle here so it could give you that cool effect I talked about earlier so if your box colors are red you, you could go ahead and change it to red if your box colors are whatever color you could go ahead and change this rectangle to whatever color matching it so it gives it that really cool effect and how you do that is just click on the layer which is rectangle and you can see the picture so you know which layer it is so um, just click on this layer and just mess around with its colors its textures anything just mess around with it and you should get that color but right now I want it to be black because my background or uh, my box colors are black so now I'm gonna focus on get changing this color right here the color for the header headline whatever I'm gonna change that color so how to do that is click on rounded rectangle which is its layer and change the color type I'm gonna change it to green and I'm gonna change the gradient to uh, contour. After that, just click the A, little symbol A, that's the text thing. And I'm gonna type in the text for combat website, which is http colon slash slash tech support gone bad dot dot co oops dot co dot and r and um, if you ch click on the scale tool you could um, mess around with it move it flip it upside down move it around yeah you could pretty much do anything with it with the scale tool and you could I'm just gonna type text work on bad on the outside right here text support gone bad oh and by the way if you want to change the not only the font color but the font type like um the how your font will look you could go to assets and click on the styles tab and just change it around and as you see I just changed it to that this that you can see I changed it and I'm gonna leave it like this and yeah just, I'm gonna put it like this so it's straight going straight up and we're gonna put it just right there and I'm just gonna do it one more time Type uh, tech support gone bad. Oops. And change the font type to this. Or the style type, my bad. Okay, and then choose the click on the scale tool to move it anywhere you want. And this one I'm gonna make it look slanted. So something like this. <clears throat> and just put it right there. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So let's zoom out and see what it looks like. And this is basically what your YouTube background is gonna look like. So let's say you want this, you want, you like the way it looks, you want to put it up on YouTube now. 
how you do that is save it as first of all save as whatever you want i'm going to save it as text for combat tsgb and save as the file type save it as jpeg and just click save wait for it to save and after it's done saving just minimize it or um, exit out of it or whatever and open up your default browser and go to just upload.net just the link to just just upload will be in the video description so just browse and double click on the one that you just made tsgb and click or just upload and just wait for it to upload any day now okay so it says it should say your file has successfully been uploaded well done and it should give you a URL click on the URL and your image that you just made should pop up so after it pops up just copy the URL and go to YouTube go to edit channel on YouTube on your YouTube account click edit channel <clears throat> go to channel design and scroll down scroll down all the way to where it says background image URL um, erase whatever's in there and type or paste what um, the, the URL to the image that you just made then oh yeah and be sure to change the the um, box properties to whatever the background color that you want like if for example if you made the background color red change the box to red so it gives it that really cool effect then click update channel and go back to your text for combat or your YouTube page my bad uh, and it should look the way you wanted it. It says textbookcombat.co.nr right here. It says textbook combat slanted. Not sure where this textbook combat on this side went, but whatever. <laughs> and well, yeah. So that's how you create this really cool effect and this really cool background for your YouTube account. And yeah, you guys just go ahead and do it on your own. Um, uh, create some cool stuff on it. Be imaginative, and hope you guys learned something today. Thank you and goodbye.